reel again? It's a sal trout. Sal trout reel? So a, cla a classic, classic trolling setup. Exactly. So it's spitting a little bit. A little bit of a uh, little bit of snow. Yeah. But Jim was mentioning. You see how that the wobbler gives it. Just trolling gives the the. Uh, some decent action. You can tell just by that tip, the way that it's uh, going back and forth like that. That'd be nice if we caught it right now with it, with it, with it taking lines. Zzz. These two old rods have caught an awful lot of fish. Oh, I bet. I bet. So these are from? from a, yeah, when I was in my 20s, I bought these rods yep. from Sebago Trading Post. Yep. Did a lot of fish caught with them. So were you use, using these when you were rowing the sports up north too? <laughs> the sports? I never remember rowing them, but yes. I oh, I thought you I thought you rode some that was part of the guide you would row too. Yeah, no, no. Oh, never mind. That, that might have been a guide story. Sports are what main guides would would uh, call their cus customers. Sports. Doubled up. We doubled up. That nice rod. Lots of lots of room. So it's a fly rod, but with a lot of room in the in the back. Yep. Yeah. So this is a good um, one of Jim's. Jim is the engineer, so this is a good little thing to pr protect the ends of the rods. And then these are the old big ass fly rods he uses. So what are the other rods? They're yeah. Big ones that I told you. Yeah. They're just nothing more than great big fly rods. Yeah. But they're they're made by Fluger too. Yeah. 